Hi Japan lovers, welcome to Nippopedia episode 1! The first two questions are from the same person. Where do you get the visa? Mm, I will say how to get a visa more than where. Basically, a visa is a permission to stay in Japan. So to obtain that permission, uh, you need a reason to stay. Mm, which means you have to know your place in Japanese society. What are you gonna do in the country? For example, are you a student? Uh, are you a worker, an artist, a missionary, or um, an entrepreneur, a spouse, and so on? Once you know who you are, you need to prove it. To prove it, you need someone who certifies that your presence is needed in Japan, that there is actually a reason for you to stay in Japan. So, if you're a student, you will need a school that proves it. And if you are an, an employee, you will need a company, uh, a spouse, uh, if you are a spouse, you will need a husband or a wife and so on. Uh, once you know who you are, uh, you need someone who certifies that your presence is needed in Japan. So that would be a school, a company or a, a husband or a wife. And that's it. This is basically how you get a visa in Japan. You need to prove that you are what you say you are. <laughs> the second question is from the same person. Uh, how to get an apartment in Japan? Getting an apartment in Japan through a Japanese real estate agency can be a little bit tricky. This is why. First, you have to find a real estate agency which is willing to rent an apartment to a foreigner. When you find this agency, you will need to find apartments where foreigners are allowed. I know it might seem crazy, but in some apartments, foreigners are not allowed just like cats and dogs or uh, playing instruments. Um, playing piano is not allowed in this apartment or cats are not allowed. Uh, foreigners are not allowed. It is weird, but that's the fact. This is the reality in Japan. Uh, when you finally find the above mentioned apartment, then you need to find a guarantor. A guarantor is a much important figure in uh, renting an apartment in Japan. A guarantor is a person who will agree legally to cover all the expenses in your place in case for any reason you are not able to pay anymore. So being a guarantor in Japan is a very serious responsibility. Not all your Japanese friends uh, will agree to become one for you. At the same time, not all Japanese are suitable to become guarantors. For example, uh, a middle-aged employee will be preferable to uh, students in his 20s. Another solution to get an apartment in Japan is to contact uh, real estate companies uh, specialized in renting apartments to foreigners. In this case, you won't be even asked uh, to have a guarantor and everything will go smoothly. I really recommend this solution if you're coming to Japan for a short period of time, for example, let's say uh, six months or a um, few months or even a year. Finally, if you're employed by a Japanese company, usually a big company, um, the company itself will help you find an apartment, will be your guarantor and most of the times it will the company itself will stipulate the contract in your place so in this case maybe it's very easy to find an apartment but uh, at the same time when you stop working for that particular company you will lose your apartment <laughs> let's move on to the next question which is the last one I received this one on Facebook and it says um, what would your number one tip be for a first-time visitor traveling alone to Japan? My number one tip will be don't rely on English. Very few Japanese can speak English. Even in Tokyo, the majority of people cannot speak English or they are too shy to even try to speak it. So if you can, a few months before going to Japan, try to learn some daily basic conversation in Japanese. I bet it will be really useful during your trip. And that was all for today, for this first episode of Nippopedia. Uh, if you have any other questions, please write them below this video or in the Facebook page. Don't forget to like the video, share it please, and see you next time. Bye bye!